Browse the aisles at your local pet store and you might notice an increasing number of foods touted as having raw ingredients. Raw diets have been growing in popularity and the author you're about to meet started a blog on the subject. Welcome to the show, author and blogger Kim Gautier. Hi Kim, great to have you. Thank you so much for having me. This is so interesting. Uh, I had a pet who had chronic skin conditions and I toyed with his food forever. Now, raw diets can address an amazing number of issues with people's pets, right? Absolutely. And the reason why I started feeding raw, I have a dog, Rodrigo. Yeah. He had a laundry list of health issues, skin conditions, um, joint issues, gut issues, chronic ear infections. It was insane. The vet bills were outrageous. Yeah. None of the foods on the market were working for him. And I kept hearing about raw feeding and mm -hmm. how great it was. I didn't understand it. But mm -hmm. one day I decided, why not? and I got him started on a raw diet. And this is after a vet told me he would live a short life. Two weeks later, and he was just eating a partial raw diet. So okay. raw in the morning, kibble in the evening, mm -hmm. most of his health issues completely went away. Wow. Today, he's eight years old. Aww. You know, he, um, he lived a long life. He's still thriving. He's an energetic, happy, healthy dog. He only goes to the vet once a year, and that's just for an annual checkup. It's amazing. What kind of dog is Rodrigo? He is a Border Collie Great Pyrenees mix. Oh, He's beautiful. Gorgeous. He's a big guy, big guy. Well, I, it is really incredible, and I think not only are we paying more attention to what our pets eat, we're paying more attention to what we put in our bodies. Absolutely. And the diet does matter. Let's talk about a, a raw food diet. What, mm -hmm. How do you explain it to people when they're like, well, what does that mean? Yes, um, the very basic of it is, yeah, I feed raw meat to my dogs. But okay. it's not like I go to the grocery store and grab a pound of ground beef. I'm yeah. actually very careful about where I source the ingredients. It's a mm. combination of muscle meat and organ meat and bones. And um, I add fermented vegetables. There's raw eggs, raw sardines. There's so many things. What I'm trying to do is add just whole fresh foods to my dog's diet. And what you said earlier about our mm -hmm. diet, mm -hmm. after four or five years of feeding raw, I started looking at the correlations and I myself eat a lot healthier. Yes. And because yes. of what I've learned through my dogs. Yes, like it's profound. You know, you mentioned the vet bills and um, mm -hmm. I, I started off talking about, I had a Jack Russell who had chronic skin conditions. I, I really, really, really struggled. He lived till he was 17. Um, and I had, so many ups and downs with his skin condition, mm -hmm. his chronic itching. It was just so hard to watch him suffer. Mm -hmm. I had really high vet bills. So a lot of times I feel like people are going in and they're getting prescriptions and they're not addressing yes. what the pet's eating. Oh, that's so brilliant. That's exactly what it is. The problem, I look at it as it's a Band-Aid. We're not actually dealing with the underlying situation. Yeah. And you know, one thing that's constantly said in the raw feeding community is healthy gut, healthy dog. Mm. And so you want to get that gut healthy mm -hmm. and that is what's going to take care of so many of the common health issues that we're constantly going to the vet to address. Certainly. Obviously the health benefits are incredible. Uh, Cause this is what dogs in the wild, is that kind of the link too? Is yeah. that the right? It's it's funny because lingo? it's. I know that the veterinarian community. I can feel them cringing right now. Okay, <laughs> we'll let them cringe, and now we're going to listen to what you have to say. But you know, <laughs> the whole idea of it for some people is that you know, if dogs were wild, if they went back to their the gray wolf yes. and what they would eat in the wild, and it would be you know, meat, bone, organ meat, and then you know they would go with the herbs and stuff when mm -hmm. they needed different things, and so. Yeah, we can't quite replicate a wolf's diet in a mm -hmm. modern world, but adding fresh food, even if like I tell people not ready to switch to raw, yep. man, if you took away 20% of that kibble and replaced it with fresh yes. food, you would see such an amazing difference. You know what, I'm inspired. I, we wanna mention there's some other health benefits for the animal as well. I believe mm -hmm. that the teeth improve, but yes. could you list some of the other benefits? Absolutely, of course. You have strong, healthier white teeth. You mm. have a healthier gut, you know, less smelling poo. You have less of the doggy odor. You yeah. um, have gorgeous skin and coat. Wow. Um, because it's such a natural diet, you have less inflammation, so you're going to see less joint issues. It just goes on and on. I I'm actually on an anti-inflammation diet, so myself, and it's been incredible. Um, so there's so much value in mm -hmm. what you're talking about. I want to get more information. I'm sure some people out there would love to. You have a blog. You also have a book. I do. I have a book called A Novice's Guide to Raw Feeding for Dogs, and it just shares 
my experience when I was feeding my dogs and how I learned about it because when you are brand new to raw feeding, mm -hmm. the internet is a vast place. And so of course it you're is. going to start searching for things. You're gonna find so much contradictory information. And the reason why that is, is because we all have different experiences with our dogs. Certainly. And so this is my experience with four dogs. And I just hope that is delivered in a way that's non-judgmental, yes. non-pressure. Um, I'm not telling people you have to do this. Lecturing. I just want uh -huh. to give them a resource to show that it's really not hard. You can do it. And the benefits are astounding. I'm really impressed by you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn more about it myself because I would like my two pets to live as long as possible. I love them. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Learn more about feeding your pet a raw diet by visiting Kim's blog, keepthetailwagging.com. That's what we want to do. Keep those tails wagging. Keep the Tail Wagging is a proud sponsor of Las Vegas Morning Blend.